Hey guys, Pastor Artie here with your Man in a Minute. You know what, when we talk about water, what comes to your mind? Something cool, refreshing to drink, something to swim in? You know, there's a hundred uses for water. You know, we make our drinks with it, we make coffee with it. Yeah, we make coffee with it. But here's the thing, you know, I was thinking about water today because I was out here in the garden and I was watering the plants and you know, I didn't get a chance to water him yesterday because I told you I was laid up because of a foot surgery and I'm still laid up. I still am supposed to be off of my foot, but I wanted to come out here and let you guys know that, you know, that Jesus loves you so much that he's given you not just water to drink, not just his creation of this earth and all that he put on it, but he also gave you a living water. You know, when Jesus con was confronted by a woman at the well, she asked for water and Jesus said, well, if you drink from this well, kind of basically kind of sum it up for you. He goes, basically, you drink from this well, you're going to be thirsty again. But if you drink from the water that I give you, you will never thirst again. You know, he was talking about the living water of the word that he was giving. You know, and so many times we as Christians, you know, we forget that we need to be well watered as too. Just like the tomato plants and the, the trees that you see in the background, they give forth fruit. And believe me, I'm getting a lot of fruit off of those those tomato bushes. I mean, a lot. If you need tomatoes, give me a call. I'll send you some. But it gives off fruit because why? We water it every day. It gets fresh water in order to take in, to give it the nutrients and the, and the liquid to grow these tomatoes fat and juicy. The same way God wants his word in you to make sure that you're well watered so that you will bear f uh, good fruit. You know, nothing worse than seeing a withered up looking tree and its fruits all withered and ugly and dry and nasty. Man, uh, there's a little apple tree out here in back. You know, when, when I first moved here, that little apple tree looked like it just needed to be cut down and thrown into the fire. But what I did is I pruned it up a little bit. I gave it some new soil, gave it some fertilizer. And you know what, now it's pr producing good fruit. Why? Because I cleaned it up and I watered it. You know, Jesus does the same thing in our lives, guys. When we come to him, we're like that little tree. We're all mangled and dried and, and nasty. Our fruit's all shriveled and, and nasty looking. Nobody wants to partake of anything that we have. They don't want to hear what we have to say. You know why? Because we're dry. And today, family, there are many people out there today that are, are doing this. You know, I know some churches that are completely dry. It's sad. Why? Because they don't wash themselves in the Word. You know, it, it tells us in Ephesians 5, you know, husbands love your wife as Christ has loved the church and water her with the Word of God. You know, God wants to water us. You know, if you drink of me, if you drink of the water that I give, you'll never thirst again. I don't know about you, but I don't like when I'm thirsty. I like being well, well uh, uh, hydrated. You know, when I went to that, through that surgery, you know, you can't have any food or drink or nothing, you know, 24 hours before the surgery. And by the time I got out, man, I was so parched. I was so dry. It was... It was hours. You know, I didn't get out. I went in the, the hospital at three. I didn't get out of there till after midnight with no water, no food. I needed to be hydrated. The first thing I did, man, I got some water. I got some apple juice. I got something in me, fluid, to hydrate my body. How much more does our spirit need to be hydrated by the Word of God today? Have you taken time in God's Word? Or are you just going about your everyday lives, living with people, living in sin, doing all these other things, and forgetting to wash yourself with the Word and to partake of the living water of God's Word in your life. Today, family, you need to be well watered, because if you're not producing good fruit, then you're lacking the water of the Word. Today, family, take some time. Open up God's Word. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Drink of Him so you'll never thirst again. And you'll see, just like I have and my fiance have, you'll see that you want to be well watered. You want to be people that are just thirsty for God. I thirst after it. You know, like the like the the 
the song says, which is a proverb, as a deer panteth for the water, so my soul panteth after thee. Lord, I pant after you because I'm thirsty, I'm dry, and I need to be well watered today. So guys, take some time in the Word, and you'll see. You'll be refreshed, you'll be renewed, and you'll start bearing good fruit. And those around you can partake of it and grow as well. So from Linda and myself and the rest of us here at Rock Ministries, the staff here, we love you guys. We're praying for you. We're praying you have a blessed Tuesday and a blessed rest of this week. Take some time, fellowship in the Word with God, and see what He has for you. And you're going to be amazed at what you find out. We love you guys, and we'll talk to you real soon. God bless you. Bye.